animals each year. Caskets, cremation, headstones, they're all familiar terms. But have you ever heard of a green burial? It is growing in popularity. In fact, Pennsylvania's first exclusively green cemetery is right here in Pittsburgh. Consumer editor Susan Copen has more. With its trails and trees, this 32-acre plot of land in Penn Hills is not your typical cemetery. It's part nature preserve, part final resting place. Somewhere around here is where my plot is. Here in the meadow, Cecilia Hard has picked the spot where she eventually will be buried. I liked the idea of being in the sun in a, in a, in a meadow. There's eventually going to be planted with wildflowers, and I just think that sounds really great. Even though this isn't a um, church cemetery or anything like that, it seems a little bit more like a holy spot right there. Cecilia started thinking about where she wanted to be buried after a bout with breast cancer. She's always been into recycling, and when she discovered green burials, it seemed a perfect fit. No fancy coffin, just a nice linen shroud. That strikes me as being something that would appeal to my sense of aesthetics, if nothing else. It's pretty simple, really. Green burial means we do as little as we can to, that, uh, to harm the environment. Pete McQuillan is the founder of Penn Forest Natural Burial Park, opening in 2011 as a place for eco-friendly burials. It's the first of its kind in Pennsylvania. We don't use toxic chemicals like formaldehyde that's normally used as an embalming fluid. Uh, we, don't, uh, we don't use burial vaults that are used in conventional cemeteries. Um, the container that the person is buried in is biodegradable. There are no headstones. Graves are marked by river rocks, trees, plants, or flowers. As for the cost, going green tends to be less expensive than traditional burials. Lots at Penn Forest cost between $1,800 and $2,200. As for what eventually happens to a body buried in a green cemetery? It decomposes. It, uh, it's, it basically, you become you know, feed for the trees. The trees are what Cecilia Hard loves most about Penn Forest. And for her, choosing to be buried here is about reducing her carbon footprint. I'm not going to care after I'm dead, but I care now. It matters to me while I'm living. So far, the park has had two burials, 50 plots are already sold, and there are a 1,000 plots available. Live in the newsroom, I'm Susan Copen, KDKA TV News. Well, normally we'd be right